Good morning. Monday, Monday, Monday. Light winds. They must have been blowing from over in here like about five to seven, but right now they're not blowing, so. Motor on. Whew, let's go fly on a Bigfoot. See if we can get her up. I don't know. I had to use a little right rudder to keep it from turning into what little breeze we got. On my way over there, man. Bigfoot's not shy. Mighty three cell power. I wanted to bring it back at me. So that's why that wasn't picture perfect. It's kind of warm. It's probably going to head up to 80 today. It's in the 70s. It was in the 70s when we got here. <laughs> she rode a little breeze, a little puff. That's why I don't fly it right up my head. Because I couldn't feel any wind, but I guarantee there was probably wind down there when it, where it made that first right turn. Time remaining, seven minutes. I feel wind up my neck now. But I don't see much wind. There's a little bit. There's a breeze now on the, the main wind vane. No gyro. So the little puffs are pushing it around. Yeah, my landing gear. They have four four bolts that hold the landing gear on. I was down to one bolt. <laughs> From flying it in crosswinds, man, the, the, the pressure. Like there I had to use I had to use a rudder to keep it flying straight down the runway from the crosswinds, but from other days, not today, today's crosswinds aren't bad. But man, from, from all the crosswinds that I've been flying in, I might have my battery in the, Take off flaps. Landing flaps. not in the best Time location. There we go. And there you can see my wind that I got. I mean, it's not bad. It is not horrible. Use some rudder to keep it from going into the wind and hitting me. I gotta see what prop I got on there. I might have, I don't think I have the best prop. I don't think I have an APC prop. I need, I think I need a, I put a more efficient prop, I might get more bite, more torque. I'm looking for more torque. I'm not looking for speed. Bigfoot is not a speed plane. I don't have any mixes. I'm just mixing in. When I I know I know Bigfoot, so I know how much down I got to mix in when I use the flaps because I like having all my elevator. Time has stopped. Oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> all my elevator. <laughs> the wind got under it under it there. It is blowing harder out here. Let's put her out in the bush. It's in the hayfield. Ooh, the wind is stronger down here. Might not have all been crapola. It might have been a little truth to it. <laughs> Out of the hayfield! <laughs> That's a bush plane. <laughs> well, the wind is stronger here. Like I said, man, when it's out of the west, we get all kinds of currents. <laughs> oh, it was fun. Oh, had a crab in it. She's a crabby. Let's get some more of this fun. I just like flying Bigfoot. There we go. That's the strongest the winds have blown all day right there. I ain't gonna guess. I doubt if it's over 10. Right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. Rudder off. You see it pointing in the wind? Why do planes point in the wind? I don't understand that. I'm gonna try you flatten it, it turns out. There we go. I don't know why. It looks like I'm way over by the trees, but I'm probably three quarters of the way across the field. Keep away from 
Time remaining, four minutes. Time that was kind of a stall landing there. I increased the throttle to try to take a little pressure off the landing gear. And she's going pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> crosswind. Oh, she came right up in the crosswind. That was good. Flying on tricky days, it, make, it makes you better on the sticks, man. It just does. Low one click of flaps. Use some rudder to hold it straight. There we go, that was pretty good. Let's fly some more. I got some more time. See, there's a few words you don't ever use when you're flying. More is a good word to use. Another is a good one to use. Time remaining. Three minutes. See, and the winds are being tricky right now. Oh, that was just sweet magic there. <laughs> you see the wind was still, the wind's still a factor. I'm going to take off cross. Kind of downwind. I just didn't want it to risk coming up at me. I mean, I know I'm, I know I could rudder it out of the way, but, you know, just because it's only been gusting like about seven, that doesn't mean it couldn't all of a sudden say, oh, let's hit you with the 12. Flat turn, coming off the power in the turn, coming back around. Take off flaps, flaps up. Whoa, we see a crabbing. <laughs> it was crabbing right there in the wind. Oh, I like it. And I got my flaps down is pressing down on the three channel. That's there right on the top left puts the flaps down and pulling up puts them up and I used to do that on my stall planes because I could hit it Landing flaps. I could put the flaps down faster by just Time resting stop. my finger on top Time to start. boom Time to stop. Flaps up. Time to start. there you go that was my last landing keep a short video Oh, let's see what it looks like. I got a battery in there. Oh, the, 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 I'm so used. I'm so used to flying, flying smart ESCs, man. I was gonna scroll over and see what my battery was. I don't have a smart ESC. Oh, I tell you, man, those smart ESCs are nice. Ah, there's the bee that got me. There was a little bee that got me. That had to been more like it there. They almost look like a fly, but they're a bee. I don't know what it is, man. Yep, that's it exactly. I recognize the pattern. Wow, those are weird looking bees. I've never seen those before. Oh, well, there's Bigfoot in the sun. I have seen that before. Tuco right in the shade, and that was the last flight. So we're going to pack up, see if I can avoid getting stung again. And we're going to take off. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and coming part of Team Let's Go Flying. Woo, 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 woo.